Hi everyone, this is Jenny with Aleden 1972 and today I wanted to share with you some projects that I've been working on. Let me go ahead and get started uh, with these hearts that I've been working on. This is actually aluminum wire and I shaped the aluminum wire into a heart shape um, just using my hands. I didn't use a mold or anything like that. And when I got it to pretty much what I wanted to do, I um, kind of left it that way. Um, in this particular heart, I went ahead and then put um, duct tape on the back. And then once I kind of uh, secured and pressed it really well and I felt comfortable that nothing was going to leak, I went ahead and used the um, Amazing Casting Resin, which cures in 10 minutes. And I put a few drops of the red alcohol ink and I then just poured it inside um, the frame. And this is what I got. I'm pretty happy with it. However, it's not finished. In the back you can see it still has the um, duct tape pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and dome over that. And then in the front as well, I'd like to dome it probably with uh, clear uh, resin just to kind of go over and give it that nice smooth look because the amazing casting resin usually kind of gives you a bumpy look so I don't really like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and dome over it I kind of used it more as a base to give the heart the color and um, then just kind of work it from there and then I'll just add a bale and uh, this will be a pendant the other one that I made I did not use uh, resin I actually used clay polymer clay and I used the one that has uh, glitter on it and I used black and red and I really like this effect and it kind of reminds me of a ladybug but I also shaped this aluminum wire into a heart shape um, just a little bit different than this one this is more of a regular heart shape but this one's a little bit different just having fun with it and then once I built my heart shape frame, uh, I went ahead and filled it in with polymer clay. And after I did that, I baked it. Once I baked it, of course, you know, it comes out kind of dull. So I went ahead and I domed it on top with resin. Um, however, um, some of the areas, if you can see here, um, didn't quite grab the resin and I guess it's the clay it's so dry sometimes I guess it doesn't pick up on it so I'm just going to give it another uh, coat and go ahead and make it nice and smooth and even and this is what the back looks like and I still have to dome the back and probably choose one color so but you can tell the different pieces of clay that I used um, just to fill it in and then the front you won't be able to tell that because I smoothed it out but um, I'll go ahead and show you this once it's completely finished and at the point of where I'm happy with it. <laughs> but I thought I'd share that with you because I think this is a good idea. Um, sometimes I have a hard time finding, you know, um, uh, I can't think of the word right now, bezels that I like um, or for what I'd like to do. So... I decided to try my hand at making my own. So this is um, my experiment with this and I'm very happy, actually very pleased with it. So I'm gonna to continue to make these and as I do, I'll go ahead and share that with you. My next project is this right here. It's a vase, a flower vase. This vase I got at the dollar store. And then I went to Ross the other day and I found these really pretty napkins. Ross has really different, pretty decorative napkins. So I thought I'd have fun with it. And what I did is, oh, let me go ahead and focus. What I did is I completely, uh, I grabbed Mod Podge and I completely covered uh, little by little the vase with Mod Podge and uh, once I did that, I started to place the napkin on top and glue it onto the vase. Once that dried, I went ahead, excuse me, I went ahead and I put a top coat of Mod Podge on the top of the paper, of course, on the outer part. 
and once that was dry I went ahead and embellished it with these little ribbon borders which I got at Michael's a while back and I didn't know what, what I was going to do with them but now I found out what I could so just having a little fun with that then I used this one in the bottom and uh, there's my flower base so I'm happy with that so let me know what you guys think and then my last project that I actually finished today is um, this little trinket box. Um, it's a Lady Jar mold, which I love very much. Um, I think it's awesome. There's so much you can do with this. So again, uh, my last pour with one of these was actually completely just white with the amazing casting resin. And I tried my hand at it again. I've been so busy sometimes it seems like... I want to do something and I can't <laughs> but I went ahead and made this one and I like it um, the only thing that I'm not too pleased about is that it came out a little darker pink than I wanted to I wanted more of a light pale pink but again this was an experiment and practice makes perfect so I'll continue to practice until I get pretty much what I want um, I poured the amazing casting resin and then poured some drops of um, alcohol ink. So I wanted to do one batch so that I could get an even um, color for the base and the lid. However, um, the first pour that I did was just enough for the trinket box itself for the base, not enough for the lid. So I had to do another pour for the lid. And as you can see, um, my lid come out a lot lighter than my base but I'm okay with that I don't have a problem I'm gonna keep this one <laughs> for myself and just put it you know in the side of my room just to put you know um, sometimes you forget to take off your earrings and you just don't want to leave them there on top of the um, you know your nightstand so they'll fall so I'll just put that there and then I can always just throw them in here um, this is what I did for the inside um, I didn't have enough resin um, or I didn't make enough resin to pour inside uh, to make the lid. So I was a bit short of resin. So I went ahead and did a second pour on this one and just left. I decided to leave it white. I thought it made it interesting. So I just left it white. And um, I also put a mirror in the middle. And um, that's encased by the resin. And then once all that was dry, I just embellished it just a little bit with these little cute heart rhinestones, which I love so much. They're adorable, and these I ordered from Crafters Delights a while back. So I'm really happy with that. And then I just added a little white bow, just made it really nice and simple. And then the outside, I embellished again with that Michaels ribbon borders. Just a real simple one on the top and then something a little cuter in the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead I think this will look a lot nicer if it's like a little you know a pale pink instead of this like kind of a pop pink so but you can see how the difference in color but like I said it really doesn't bother me so I still think it came out cute so I'll keep practicing on that one but I wanted to share that with you and I always like to hear what you guys think. Uh, if you have any suggestions, ideas, please let me know. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.